the economy and microfinance. I try to uh, put together the economy, first the economy of India, and then talk about what is microfinance and what is the impact of microfinance in India country. Okay. My table of, country, of contest is India at a glance. We are going to talk about geography and government of India, people. Uh, main topic is India's economy, the dark uh, side of the economy in India, microfinance in India, and some data about microfinance and the impact of microfinance in the, in the India's uh, economy. Okay, India at a glance. India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world with a body and rich cultural uh, heritage. Uh, it has achieved all round social economic uh, progress during the, uh, the last 67 years of its independence. India has become self sufficient in agriculture production and is now one of the top industri industrialized countries in the world. It covers uh, an area of 1.0 million square miles, uh, extending from the Himalaya Highs to the tropical rainforest of the south. Geography and government. The name of the country is Republic uh, of India, Bharat Gang Raya in India. And the location, like I did, is from the Himalaya to the south of the uh, Asia. The capital is New Delhi. And the administrative division, there are 29 states and 7 union territories. And the independence was in fifth, the 15th August, the 15th, 1947. Okay, about the people. India's population in 2011 was 1.1 million of people. There, there are a lot of people. Uh, there are more uh, males than females. And the life expectancy rate is around 70, uh, 67 years. There are, this is interesting, there are 22 different languages in India. Okay, about the economy of India. The primary driving by domestic sources. Uh, India's most important segment is the agriculture. Um, is, India is well known, has a well known status in the high tech industry and service industry. And, had a positive growth for the last two decades. This is a chart that shows the annual GDP growth since 2010, and the forecast for 2015 and 2016 is that India is going to be above the uh, Asia uh, area. Okay, what happened? This is the dark side of the economy in India. Infrastructure is very poor, is the India's Achilles heel. They got a horrible mass transportation, they got roads are uh, dispersed, access to the world is dismal, and 20 hours of daily blood count. Okay, first, to talk about microfinance in India, we want to introduce my uh, beautiful friends, Miss Bati. She is 40 years old. She's married, but unfortunately, her husband is unemployed. She has four children. She doesn't have any savings, and but she has a good soul. Uh, she has a good soul skills. Uh, she decide. She decide to go to the bank. Uh, to start a business in sewing, in, in sewing business, she goes to the bank and makes a, de a demand for a loan to the to the bank. But unfortunately, Barry's demand is rejected. That's mean traditional banks and lending institutions don't don't lend money to low income individuals. That is because high transaction costs, lack of collateral or guarantors, lack of confidence, doubt of the repayment capacity, and lack of access to the financial infrastructure, infrastructure and services in the remote areas. 
Okay. Microfinance provides a solution for these people. Those people that can get a banking service, this is the solution for those people. Microfinance is the supply of loans, saving, and all basic financial service to the poor. It provides very poor families with very small loans to help them engage in productive activities and grow their tiny business. And the more microfinance movement dates back to the 1970s when experimental programs began to extend tiny loans to a group of poor women to invest in micro enterprises. Some data about microfinance in India at the end of 2012, there was 9,000 microfinancing branches across the, the territory, the country. One microfinance branch served 2,000 clients uh, on average. There was 307 clients per employee. Around this is interesting because microfinance is uh, most oriented to women. Around 97% of microfinance clients are women. The impact of microfinance in the Indian economy is increase a personal income, empowerment the women, improve nutrition, and increase education of biology. This is interesting because uh, in this movement, there is no uh, banking institution. There are universities, there are uh, another union, Indian union, that help those people to get their, their goal. For example, a, a lady want to uh, grow a, a coal, she go to uh, request a loan and they give a, a tiny loan to buy this coal. But in this movement, the University, for example, of India prepared this girl in her business, how to grow this coal, how to uh, understand business administration about grow the cow, about sell the meal that that, that cow uh, give, no? Uh, uh, this is a very good prepared movement around, it's not just in India, they are in, in part of the South America and part of our countries in Asia. This is a citation sources that I use. I use videos, the, the two videos in the angel. I, uh, there are two good videos, uh, e-books, and some website where I found uh, the statistic about the growth uh, of the economy in 